So we still have the, the, the inversion here. Okay, I'm just going to leave the ink alone, press out, and, and assess abduct, hip abduction. That's fine. But I'm going to bring the angle to neutral and test abduction again. Press out, and there it is. It's positive. So press out. Two things happen here. Press out. One is we, we learned that the tibialis posterior is working for the to assist the hip abductors. Okay. And two, we more importantly, we told motor control through this kinesthetic conversation of functional muscle testing that it was doing that. And that we engaged motor learning because suddenly it didn't work so well. A motor center responded by saying, well, how do I do it? Press out. So I release. Turn motor learning. Press out. Retest. Press out. Retest while still maintaining neutral angle here. And now it's testing much better. So we just help motor control learn that, oh, I don't need to use my tibialis posterior to assist my hip abductors. I want to remember this because this was easier. Right? Motor control is always about how can I do this in a way that flows better, feels easier, right? Look at the difference in ankles now. <laughs> What's the other problem with overusing the tibialis muscles? Shin splints or tendonitis? Shin splints, tendonitis. And which ankle now is going to be more prone to an inversion sprain, the left or the right? Left. Yeah. Because it already wants to head that way. Yeah. Well, we'll work on it. You work on it today in class.